If you are into LLM gaming, then this project Game Shaper AI might interest you. You can interact with a game engine with the help of this tool. And this tool keeps building its rules and world as you play. Adapt it to your own gameplay. In this project, they have proposed a node system that has a few advantages over raw LLM gaming. So what it does is it also enables you to have token saving features to keep the API costs lower as large stories can easily scale in content. The AI only retrieves the content from the nodes it needs while keeping a short context of all the available nodes. It also has a UI to inspect any node in your game with the possibility to store an image for each. It also adapts the node as you play or create game templates. You can export your game stat at any moment to share the stat of your gameplay and you can also see how others diverge from it or you can even prepare a set of rules from scratch. Now, not only you can use it with API based models, models like OpenAI, it also supports local AI using Cobalt CPP for smaller GPUs and also they have um, this support for custom grammar or GNBF which even the simpler one will rarely produce unhandled output. Now the thing is that the local AI can be really prone to error so I think more or less I would suggest you to go with the open AI at this point in time it's, the project is very new but it looks quite promising so I'm more than sure it is evolving a lot in this video we will be installing it locally and then we will see how it works before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring this vm which i'm using plus the gpu which is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram so if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website plus a discount coupon of 48 uh, for 50 50% discount which you can readily use on an already affordable pricing that said let's go and try to get it installed let me go to my terminal of some system and then here I already have Conda installed if you don't know what Conda is I already have uh, various videos where I show you how to install the Conda so first up I'm just creating this Conda environment because I just want to keep everything nice and simple so let's wait for it to get installed it is creating the virtual environment and then simply activate that environment and you will see in the parentheses let me clear the screen second up we need to get clone this game shaper ai and i will drop the link to it in video's description so that you can also get clone it so simple use git clone command and then you can cd into this directory let me clear the screen now as we will be using openai so make sure that you go to platform.openai.com and grab your api key from there it's a paid option if you don't have an account just create an account put ten dollars there and you should be good to go and you can grab your api key from there okay so next up you would need to set your key and your model for that in the root of this game shaper ai which means that in this directory simply create a file called as dot env and then open that file and in that file simply write or paste these commands so just keep this uh, white oai image model to delhi 3 if you can go with delhi 2 to save the cost but i'm just going to go with delhi 3 to make sure the quality is good and here you just need to remove this line and put your openai api key which you grabbed from platform.openai.com so let me put my key in here save the file and exit from here i have saved my key one prerequisite which you should have is node.js installed i believe i already have it i don't have it that's interesting if i don't have it okay so i would need to install and it has already given you the command this is a command to install node.js so let me do that i just need to use sudo here just press y 
and should not take too long that is done and i believe we also need to install npm there is a package manager just press y here and that should be done fairly quickly and now both node and npm are installed let me clear the screen so all the prerequisites are done if you do ls-ltr or just check the content of this directory you will see there is a start.hsh and a start.bat if you are using windows simply run this command in order to install all the prerequisites and dependencies and because i'm on linux so i'm just going to go with this start.sh let me clear the screen and then i'm just going to run this command here and it is going to install all the prerequisites that is almost done yeah it's already done and your application is now running on localhost at port 3000 so let me access that here in the browser on the localhost and the port is 3000 let me press enter there you go how good is that and then you can just start playing around with it there is adventure game there is tavern here maybe i'll just go with tavern i haven't played this game so i'm just exploring it with you so you can see it says that you arrive in front of a tavern the tavern is a warm lively place in the bustling town as you enter cheerful chatter and music welcomes you the room is filled with diverse crowd from adventure to town folk, rustic decoration and a roaring fire add to the cozy ambience. Despite the joyful environment, there is a subtle tension if the joy hides something sinister. And then there is some hidden description and all that stuff. So you can ask it or you can click on show detail. It says that this is ID adventure game. Mm, cool. So I'm just closing it. And then it says you arrive in front of Tavern. I want to drink a beer, but I don't have money. It's not generating the story. Let's wait for it to come back. I have just made the screen a bit bigger. Now, if I scroll down on the left, so in response to what I wrote that I want to drink beer, but I don't have money, it has selected some of the node, it has reasons around it, and it is just generated a story. And you see that now it has changed it to sinister tavern on the right hand side and then you can just go around it and look for a way to escape the tavern try to find someone trustworthy to help you recover so let me click here and then it is generating the story let's wait for it to see. you see that you can take the story wherever you like or you can simply type your own prompt here that nursing a drink and then you can just say how could i find a date here let's see then it is generating the story again so you see that you got the point that you can um take it wherever you like plus you can reset the game you can edit the note for example if i click on edit notes here you can select the note everything is a note ever and player adventure and then you can just change the description and it will adapt to whatever you like there is also a cheat sheet so it says that you're a man age 25 you can uh, just check it out and then this is your stats strength low agility low intelligence low <laughs> okay and then a lot of stuff is there and again if you go look at adventure game this is a you can just go on an adventure amazing really like the product of course i can't play uh, the whole day here but you see things are really getting exciting now and it's a simple product project running here you can even integrate it with cobalt cpp hopefully this will evolve more and it will be easier to integrate it so I will drop the link to this project in video's description. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.